Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Meghnad. In this module, we will talk about relational operators. In the previous module, we learned about arithmetic operators like plus, minus, star is used for multiplication and modular division also we learned. And in this module, we learn how to find the relation between two operators and two operands using relational operators. And let's get started. Now, relational operators is normally used to compare or to see the relation between two values or two operands, right? Now, if you write here five and three, so let's take five and three, and the relation between these two is, this is greater. So you have to write five greater than three. Or if you want to put three first and then put five here, so you want to compare these two, so you have to write three less than five. So similarly, so we have not equal. Let's take, I can also uh, say whether these two are equal or not. So I can write not equal greater than five greater than three less than three less than five greater than or equal to and you have to write here five greater, greater than or equal to three now where do we use in real world programming is let's take your designing a application for a school where you want to write the students who got 60 or above 60 or equal to 60 uh, are graded as a grade and those who got from 50 and including 50 and up to 60 let's take up to 59 you want to categorize it into B grade. Now in this case, what you can do here is you have to write if, you have to write a condition, if grade is greater than or equal to 60. So here you're writing grade is equal to or greater than, greater than or equal to 60. So you have to write here print A. So that's where we use, so when you're writing some business logic, so you'll, you'll require this greater than or equal to or less than you want to compare, greater than you want to compare, less than or equal to or not equal to. And in case if you want to check whether the two numbers are equal or not, you have to use double equals to. This is really important. We'll talk about how to write if condition later, but if you want to compare two numbers, there are two things. One is, one is single equals to and one is double equals to. Now, if you want to assign a value for a variable, let's say I want to write a is equal to five. So in this case, you are assigning value five to a. You're not comparing, you're not comparing a and five. So you're assigning value five to a. And if you want to compare whether the a's, a value is five or not, you have to use a double equals to five. So in this case, you are comparing whether a value is equal to five or not. So remember carefully. So single equals to is used for assign a value and double equals to is used to compare whether the value of a is five or not. Okay, so once again, relational operators are used to compare two operands. So in this case, this is an operand, this is an operand, and this is an operator. Double equals to is used to compare whether the two values are equal or not. This is used for not equals to, this is greater than, this is less than, this is greater than or equal to, and this is less than or equal to. Okay, so we're going to see more of this in programming when we start with con control structures and we'll be doing a recap of all these things and we'll see where we can use it, right? In the next module, we're going to see logical operators. Thank you and see you in the next module.